All right, we're going to be getting into the manual muscle test and length for the sternocleidomastoid. So with this, first thing I'm going to be doing is showing my partner the action because it's quite complex. So I'm going to go through the actions one more time. Um, you may have watched the palpation video, but for the manual muscle test purpose, we'll go through it again. So on the C-spine, we're going to have flexion, lateral flexion, and contralateral rotation. And then up towards the head, we're going to have extension at the lateral joint, as well as it does a little bit of lateral flexion and again, some contralateral rotation. So I'm just going to show him that action first as we lift the head up, it is nice and slow. The chin is going to tuck back towards me. The head is going to rotate away from the muscle and that mastoid process is going to come really close to the sternum here. Okay. So, if your person on the table is unable to do this action, you might have to show them a couple times and go through nice and slow because it is somewhat complex. In this case, I'm testing one sternocleidomastoid, so we're just obviously checking the right one here. Okay, can you please go through that action for me on your own, which will be the active component? Good. So for this break test, again, we're going to bring our partner part way up. I'm going to be holding on both sides of his heads. Uh, one here on the right, and again, I'm supporting on the left. But what I'm going to try to do is rotate him as well as push him back down towards the table. And he's going to hold his position. So whenever you're ready, and five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. Let's bring the head back down to our starting position. I'm going to keep my hand in that same position because we're going to resist that whole motion now. So go ahead and go all the way up. Nice and smooth. Good. So that is the A, B, and the C, but other references will show a bilateral sternocleidomastoid. So what I'm going to basically do is I'm going to bring him up, we're going to tuck that chin, I'm going to put one hand towards his occiput and one hand on his forehead, and I'm going to push straight back down towards the table. So this would be a bilateral left and right sternocleidomastoid in one test. Good. And you can come back down. So sometimes it's important to check both left and right as they work together, since a lot of people have head forward posture and it might be weak, and we also want to test left and right separate. All right, the last part of this is going to be going through a length assessment. So for this, I'm going to ask my partner to slide back. So the shoulders are going right to the edge, and I'm holding onto their head. So because we did the manual muscle test primarily on this right, I'm also going to lengthen this right hand side. So this is going to, again, make sure you have a nice, solid handhold on their head. And I'm going to reverse the actions. I'm going to do it one at a time just so we can see. So we're going to go into cervical extension here. But I also want to tip the head and tuck that chin, which would be capital flexion. I'm then going to laterally flex away from the side I'm on, but then ipsy laterally rotate towards me. And that is lengthening out the right sternocleidomastoid. Be careful not to spend a lot of time there because we don't want to cause any occlusion to the vertebral artery with this length test. And you can go back onto the table. And that's going to conclude the MMT and length for the sternocleidomastoid.